Welcome to Sturgeon Creek Farm. This is a family operation that we've had. Doug Wilson's Sturgeon Creek Farm in Jackson County has been in his family since 1831, before Jackson County was a county. Today, Wilson, the oldest of three sons, farms these rolling hills with his three sons. Formerly a diversified farm with cattle, hogs, and tobacco, Wilson now runs a cow-calf operation with both commercial and registered Angus cows. He calls it a typical mountain farm without the bells and whistles. Wilson is working with Jackson County Ag Extension agent David Coffey, improving herd genetics in his breeding program, but it's about more than just that. It's, it's the total operation. It's it's how we're managing forage, it's how we're going to manage water, how we're doing our, our nutrient that was produced on the, on the farm uh, through the manure, uh, how we manage that, how we manage our wildlife, how we manage our, our, our timber, just a, a total program. Wilson has big goals for his farm for improving forages, fencing and rotational grazing, and letting the cattle do most of the grazing while cutting some for hay. Those ideas are in Man, line with what coffee has operate, in mind. Uh, and with this program, I wanted to focus on the, the broad entire operation. So everything from their forages, their genetics, their, you know, rotational grazing, their, even their forestry and, you know, horticulture, if somebody's doing some of that. So I wanted to try, try to, you know, cover everything and just help them to better manage exactly what that producer's done. Wilson is one of about 17 producers who started out in the program two years ago, including the Happy Hollow Farm. Owner Bob Hornsby is working to downsize his cow numbers from 125 to about 50 to make it more manageable. He is adopting many of the principles on his farm being touted by coffee. I'm uh, trying to get on a total pasture program, maybe feed one month out of the year or just when it snows. So I'm working with uh, David quite a bit on that. He did all soil tests last year, and so we've got our soil tests. And so we're going to work for very hard this year to try to get everything. So hopefully we don't have a drought. Hornsby plans to use rotational grazing using nine pastures to move his cows through to utilize the forages and hopefully feeding less hay. Hornsby and Wilson are trying to follow the plan designed by coffee, and so far it seems to be working. I've been very pleased with the, with the progress and the results from it and, uh, and what a lot of these guys are doing. They've, they've made some real progress. And to look at it, you might not think it's that much difference, but you know, it's just like we said here, I mean, on 500 acres, you make one, one change in management, and you know, that influences the whole operation a lot. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.